it's Kai and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to take you through another Wildstar video, this time taking a look at player housing. Now as you can see I'm at my player house now, I have a lovely Aurin house here but you can pick a variety of different ones to have the aesthetic that you desire, however firstly I'm going to show you exactly how you get your house. So first of all you're going to want to go to Fade which is the capital city for the exiles or if you're playing Dominion you'll want to go to their capital city so that you can speak with the Protostar housing guy which will essentially enable you to unlock your house at level 14. So here we are in Thade, we're in the fortunes ground where we've got our auction house and our bank. If you just go up the hill here to the left, you will see a lovely little projector here showing a house plot and you simply have to speak to this protostar housing specialist to activate your house. Once you've got that, you'll be able to right click on this here and teleport to your home in the sky. It will then give the the ability to actually change your teleport here from either recalling to the transmat at the city or place that you've binded it to or recalling to your house so you can recall to both of those every 20 minutes and you'll notice here that we have a few things on our plot at the moment We've got a festival table here, which we can gather food from on a daily basis. And on the far left here, we have a garden where we can plant a variety of herbs and seeds so that we can farm them rather than in the world. We can do it in our garden, in our house. And then right in the center, we are have our house building. So I am doing this on a higher level character simply because you do need quite a lot of gold to get your house the way you want it. It is quite a big gold sink but it definitely is worth it because they don't actually have inns in Wildstar. Much like if you played World of Warcraft or any other MMO that had that whole in mechanic you get your actual rested bonus from your house but i'm going to take you inside my house in a few moments first of all i'm just going to explain to you the plug and socket system that wildstar has so if we take a look here at the landscape you'll see my house is in the center and the two plots that i just showed you are located here however if we want to put a plot here, let's pick one. You have to unlock them throughout the world. You actually find fab kits uh, whilst you're questing and killing monsters and things like that, and they'll drop and you'll be able to do things. So let's have Moonshiner Cabin. We'll place that one at the back there. And as you can see here, it's being built magically for us. And in a few moments, this will be available. So here we go. This is Moonshiner Cabin. And this actually unlocks a challenge where you can actually make your own moonshine. You basically jump into these grapes, squash them out, get all of the juice from there, then cook them in this and put them into the bottles. And that's quite a little fun thing to do. It doesn't really serve any other purpose apart from looking cool and providing a nice little challenge for you. And then let's put a different one on this plug here. So we've only got two big ones ready to unlock. So a large dirt patch, it allows free placement of decor. So as an example, you could put a plushy collection here. You could build book things or put whatever you want. Flower pots, example, example. You get the point. So there we go. Here's our dirt patch. So let's... Uh, find some decor that we want there we go so we've got the advanced toggle items here this has actually changed they used to have multiple kind of colored rings going around it uh, but they've actually changed it now so as you can see this is floating a little bit off the ground so I'm gonna want to move this down not that far down there we go and if say for example we wanted to rotate it because you know we want it coming out of the ground or flipped over because we've had a big rave you name it you can do it you can position it any way you like there we go we'll just have it flat for now so let's find another option of something that you can actually put down here by going back into our vendor let's try oh we've got building blocks here various different kind of log piles that you can use to build things we've got bushes and shrubbery so let's have some 
fruit trellis. We'll just have it nicely positioned next to our little bench there. And let's try one more thing to just really give you a really big example. So let's try and find a statue. Uh, oh, go on. Let's go for this. Spiked coffin. There we go. Put that there. Give us a reason to be sat at our bench, I guess. And there we go. So these are some examples. And as I said, you can move them how you want. You could pile benches on top of each other. You could pile fences, make a little maze. You literally can place them anywhere on this bit of land. Now, if we take a look at some of the examples of these small plugs you've got here. Again, we can have a dirt patch. You can have a barbecue pit. So let's place barbecue pit over here. So as you can see here, it has actually got the trade skill icon on top of there. And this is because we can use this to actually do the cooking in our house. So you don't have to go to a city. There we go. Crafting some food. And we've got it. There we go. You can craft anything using this barbecue pit, which is awesome. It also got some nice birds there and grapes and slab of meat and seeds and stuff like that so it looks really really cool as well as actually serving a purpose so now if I'm wanting to harvest all my seeds I can do it here and if I'm wanting to then craft something with them I can do it here and I don't have to leave my house so it's one of the really really great reasons for having these sort of plots in your house because it saves you having to go backwards and forwards throughout the town so let's take one more look at what we can put in the other slot here landscape Barbecue pit, dirt patch, we've got mineral deposits, a relic excavation site, the gardens, and thicket tier one. So it's a survivalist dream come true. So these are all kind of harvesting things. We've actually already got a garden, so we can't put another one down. But some examples of what we could get, we could get a date spot, we could get a cubic feeder, more crafting kiosks, datascape raid portal, uh, kiddie pool power generator there are tons of stuff that we can use there and this is just only the outside of your house this is just the things that you can do not in your actual house so let's take a look inside our house and because this is the Oren house it's laid out like this I've already decorated my room for you so you can take a look at the kind of things you can do so they start off just blank like this blank floor blank walls you can actually customize the ceiling the walls the lighting and the floor as well as put as much furniture galore in here i've got some candles i've got beds cushions plants chairs drawers rug you name it i've got it and you can see here that i've now got some buffs being in this room i've got a comfort medium because i've got a nice level of furniture i've also got lighting small and ambient small and this basically is my rested bonus you can see on my bar here that i'm 150 percent of my level rested and it ends after the current level. So because I've slept in here, I've got the rested bonus and the more comfort, lighting and ambience I have, the bigger that bonus will be. So it's definitely worthwhile customizing and making your house pretty exactly how you want it so that you can get those bonuses. Now let me just take you through how you do this customization. So we'll click on room and currently the ceiling is like this, but we can change it. You'll see, chewer plaster, metal, Exolab, Elden Ark ship, there we go, Granok stone, various other bits and bobs. And when you actually buy upgrades, you do get this housing currency here. I've so far unlocked 1,283 and I can actually buy things with that. But we're just going to go for, let's make this room really different. Let's go for... Ooh, I like this Ixian. Buy that. Okay. Now we're going to look at the trim, which is, as far as I'm aware, the, yeah, the trim around the floor we've got here, so, and around the ceiling. Uh, let's go for Dominion Arc Ship, we'll buy that. Then we're going to decorate the walls, so we can do ore in owls, plaster, blue plaster, chewer gears, Dominion in, metal plates, Dominion red. Uh, let's go for the Exile Arc Ship because we did that on the trim there. And of course, we've got to change the floor. So again, you've got wood, roof wood, bronze plates, Elden Exolab, which looks pretty cool. I think we're probably going to have to do that. 
Oh, an XO lab. And then we've got the lighting. So in the bedroom, I actually picked cute. And as you can see here, it drastically changes the lighting in the room. Ooh, a dream state, because I think that looks awesome. So we're gonna buy that. And now, as you can see, we've got dream state in here, and then this room is the cute one. So the ambience really, really changes. We'll walk into this room, and we've got various buffs here as well. So now we can decorate this room. So we'll go to our vendor. We're gonna obviously want a, a table and chairs. We need somewhere to eat. So we've got round, flat metal table, exile table, chewer table, car theme table. Got a car themed coffee table. Because we are exiles, that's pretty normal for us to have. So I'm gonna put the table here. The striped pillow, and we'll just put that right here. Nice big one that we can sit on. There we go. So then we've got some place to sit and eat and do all that good stuff. And then we can put like lighting and things like that. So let's take a look at all of the different kinds of lights that we can have in here. And this will boost up our lighting here, hopefully from small to medium. So we've got various different bits and bobs. So actually going for quite a metal theme. I think something like this would be good. Or uh, different headlights here, robot light, glass sont. Okay, let's do a, a, the cage lights. I really like those. So we'll place it on the wall here. We'll put one there. Bye. And we'll put one over here. A buy. And it will automatically line it up with the wall if that's where you click. And then, of course, you can change it depending on where you want to put it. And we'll just finally choose a different light. Let's have a hanging spotlight this time. And let's put it not there. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so it goes from that side. No, we want it. Let's put that. Hmm. Over the door. See where that hangs it. As you can see, it does take a little bit of getting used to. Let's try it from the centre. Hanging spotlight. There we go. So we've now got a big spotlight in the middle of our room. And we can just move that turn it to wherever we want the spot to be. I think that's nice. On the, uh, on the pointing at the door there. So we're gonna buy that. There we go. Spotlight pointing on the door as we walk in. Our lighting is still small, so it does say we could use a little bit more lighting, but I'm just going to show you now some of the decor that you can use. So let's take a look at drapes and curtains as an example. Let's get some white drapes in here. Let's put them behind the spotlight over here. We're going to give our exile here a nice little calendar so that they don't forget anything that they uh, need to do. And we're going to give them a Chompacombra bust. There we go. Put that on the wall over there. So we like to kill those. So here you go. Now you can see how this has gone from a very plain room to having different walls and floors and ceilings. And we've put various little objects in here that we could sleep on. And now, oh, we've, our ambience has actually gone up to medium as well. So now we're going to get even more of a bonus when we are sleeping in here and this will help our questing we'll level up a lot faster and that will just benefit as a whole so this is basically housing this is what you can do with it the inside really is just for decoration things that you can do in your house to boost up those rested levels and on the outside is really utility things like crafting and gathering and just fun things you've even got kind of telegraph simulators that you can practice dodging on, raid portals, all those kind of good things. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at housing. There are million and one things that you can do with this. You can really decorate it to how you want. Uh, there are a ton of pictures on Wildstar Online website where people have done housing competitions and things like that in the beta. So definitely check that out for some examples of the interior decoration that you can really achieve in Wildstar. And make sure to subscribe and like this video and we will see you next time. Bye!